Hello everybody, Scraftmaster here. Well, most of you know me on this channel as mainly Rizza Drake and Leozar, but when it comes to Pokemans or Pokemon, whatever you'd prefer to call it, it's mostly Scrap the Scraftmaster. Anyways, today I'm here to show you um, and teach you the importance of these things called uh, IVs, EVs. Um, gosh, I forgot my. Okay, IVs, EVs, and uh, natures, and you know all these things about competitive battling that the general person doesn't know about or honestly doesn't care about. But you see, these things are very important, and I don't know. Maybe you'll find it interesting. Maybe you won't. Maybe you'll comment on here. Fuck. Maybe you'll be like, ha, okay. Or maybe you think I'll have no like, which I probably do. Anyways, moving on. As you can see under this um this uh under the IVs thing I've turned everything to zero and you see these EVs right here and you see nature and here are its stats its base stats um this is a Galvantula by the way whom I've named Galley and so female I love her not that way shut up I know what you're thinking anyways she's level 100 right now and these are her stats over on this side right here wow they're very low Okay, so when you're playing a game, you have these three um, main factors to the to the Pokemon's um, stats and stat growth. They are the IVs, the EVs, and the nature. All of them don't show prominent um, prominent effect until they're like level 100. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to show you. Um, actually, no, I'll explain it more. IVs are um, Hidden values, along same with EVs, they're hidden um, stat values for Pokemon besides the actual stat you see that, you know, like plus one, plus two, plus three, stop doing that, plus one, plus two, plus three, plus four, and all that stuff, right? You, you see that every time your Pokemon levels up or whatever, how you know, however many. It depends on a lot of things, really. Um, God damn. It depends on a lot of things, really. Like, your, um, it depends on your IVs, your, mainly your nature and your EVs is what affects how much your stat growth is by IVs are just set in stone you'll always have that many for that certain Pokemon depending on how many you have now let's look at my Galvantula she has zero IVs in all of her stats IVs have a direct relationship with the um with the stat relative to how many there are you can have a maximum of zero to 31 IVs in each stat one stat um, one IV equals one whole stat you see it went from 250 to 251. So, I have 31 IVs, now her HP is 281. Sweet! So let's go ahead and give 31 IVs to each and every single one of these stats right here, you see? Now her stats are substantially higher than before by 31 points. This is significant because um, uh, it makes a really big difference. Uh, a, stat, uh, a speed stat of 252 compared to one of 221 you can't deny how useful that would actually be in battle and I understand like in the game itself uh, during the campaign all NPCs and their Pokemon will more than likely have no IVs or EVs or serious natures no not that serious but like natures meant for competitive battling but something in Pokemon X and Y that brought about EVs, IVs, and natures was the Battle Mason <clears throat> Um, the super strain of their battle masons, like super triple, super double, super singles, they actually used IV, EV, and nature Pokemon. And I'm pretty sure they, they did this in other generations too, but battle mason in X and Y is actually the only time I actually got into the um, more battle points aspect of the game because until then I'd actually just stuck to showdown for my competitive battling. Anyways, um... I also did some breeding and stuff in prior generations. Anyways, you see how prominent the effect of um, IVs are. You have a full 31 extra stat points. So, what in the hell are EVs? EVs affect your um, stats the same way, except you can have a maximum of 510. They've changed it to 508 this generation, I guess, to make it easier since they've implemented it, like the... Um, the new super training you see, 508 right here, I have 508 remaining EVs, all that remains is to allot them. Now, in actual gameplay, 
your EVs could look something like this all over the board that is because when you are going through the game you're battling Pokemon each Pokemon you defeat yields a certain amount of EVs so that explains why your Pokemon say at level 100 could have 226 uh, attack and maybe someone else's has 219 attack but more HP than yours because it's just how it is so let's look at it more closely you have 508 how much can your stat be increased by okay so let's make this easy we have 250 HP right now the maximum you could put in one stat I don't know if you can see it it's right here it says 252 so let's put 252 EVs in HP and see how much it boosts by alright it's going up 313 if my math is correct that's 63 now 252 divided by 63 is 4 yeah 4 so you can put 4 um, no that's not what I meant to say 4 EVs total 4 EV points equals 1 stat one like you know this is this is what affects your stat growth this is what the plus one the plus two plus four or plus three is every time you battle every time you level up excuse me not battle level up it becomes more prominent as your Pokemon has a higher level I'm just doing hand motions and stuff you okay anyways so now we see that you can have an amazing amount of like stat growth now Galvantula let's look at its base stats uh, personally I like that special attack and speed so let's dump everything there so let's do that alright so look at that 293 special attack and 315 speed compared to 252 this is a much more substantial increase than before however if you just take that without the IVs you just have 284 or say maybe a random amount of generated IVs like the game would give you you have 297 okay or 308 the the essence of competitive battling <laughs> the essence of competitive battling is trying to get the maximum amount of IVs and EVs and the best possible nature for what Pokemon you want to run what set you want to run and we'll get into that later for right now I'm just explaining to you what IVs and EVs do so and I'm gonna put four here because that's what I had originally and so now you know um, that's what EVs do that's what IVs do now what what does a nature do so you have a serious nature this does nothing for your stats okay um let's look at them oh, I can't really look I'll just do them one by one I guess let me just move this out of the way alright so you have a plethora of natures one two three four five 25 to be exact. Wait, I think so. Yeah, it should be. Wait, no, no, 24. 24, I'm stupid. Wait. It doesn't matter. You have a bunch of natures. <laughs> that is horrible. You have a bunch of natures, and each of them does something different. Well, yeah, yeah, they do something different. So you, you have the adamant nature right here, which, whoa, 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 look at that. Did you just see that? Okay, I'll do it again for you. Let me just take away this plus. Whoa! My attack just dropped to 190. And look at my special attack. Pay close attention. Damn it! Why do you do that? <laughs> no! Okay, pay, pay close attention to the special attack. 293. It has a minus right here, okay? Now, look at that. No, not an equal sign. There we go. Whoa! So, my attack jumped up to 209 from 190. That's the 19, incre 19 point increase. I dropped from uh, 293 to 230, 63. That's a 30 point drop. How come the the point the, the the drop is different, huh? Well, that's because your natures affect each it, um each stats. It will increase one and decrease one by a certain amount of by a certain percentage. I believe it's 30 percent. Um, if I'm correct, I do believe it's 30 percent though. Anyways, um, or 10 percent. I'm not sure. Either way, it's a really substantial effect because it can quite literally. Okay, let's do my one of my favorite natures. One of the timid nature. 
That's a speed boosting nature. Now, holy crap, would you look at that? I increased from 315 to 346. That is a 31 point increase. I believe that is 31. Yes, 31 point increase. That's quite amazing to be expected because Galvantula is quite a fast Pokemon at base speed 108. There's faster, but that's still pretty fast for um, an underused Pokemon. I'll get into tears later. Anyways, now you see that um, IVs, EVs, natures, they can affect your stats in so many different ways. And they don't all have to be dumped in two different stats. Let's go to my favorite, my hot dog over here. And look at this. He's got four different stats invested. And look at his stats. Amazing. Simply amazing. <laughs> you have 371 HP, 328 attack, 213 in both defenses, defense and special defense. He's got good speed. Well, for having no investments, he's still got good speed. He's got an okay special attack. And it's even an adamant nature. Minus special attack and plus attack. It's amazing. It works for what I'm running. I'm using it utility. God dang it. I'm using it utility mostly. And he, he's really good. He does his job. He tanks things. And I'll get into that later. Anyways, you see now that they don't always have to be black and white. You could have a good mix like my favorite Scrafty. You see, he's got a good mix here. The Don, he's got a good mix because, you know, he's Don for him. And then see, there's another, there's another fish here. There's my, my favorite, my, my eggshell. She's got a very, very complex mix, but it has a lot to do with her item, and I'll get into all this later. I know this is a lot at once. I know you probably tuned out as soon as I said competitive battling at the beginning of the video. If you're still watching right now and you still actually care about what I'm saying, maybe I'm going too fast, maybe I'm not, maybe who cares? If you like this, then by all means, I hope you've taken something from this video today. I hope you understood at least the basis of what I'm trying to tell you guys here. And, you know, maybe this can help you. Maybe you don't want to get into competitive battling per se. I mean, perhaps you just want to, you know, no, no, kick your friend's ass even better than you already can, right? Because you can do that, right? Right? <laughs> Anyways... Um, Scraft Master or Rizzo Drake and Leozar. You're gonna have to get used to me using the tag Scraft Master because that's what I use for Pokemon. Anyways, guys, Scraft Master out.